Blessings in abundance, beautiful people. I hope and pray that you have had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving holiday with your family. It has been amazing. Again, you know, my blessings um, and well wishes to you all. We are in the holiday season, officially in the holiday season. And as we go through the hustle and bustle, there's just so much that I could get into. We're also in the season known as cupping season, which actually should have occurred in October, where people want to kind of start connecting for the holidays and kind of get booed up a little bit. Uh, this is when the old exes may tend to circle around and all of those good things. So I'm going to drop some nuggets, right? We've been in this journey uh, in a woman's journey home, 14 keys to ascending to the next dimension. If you've missed the videos, it's been powerful. It has been wonderful. And I have been dropping nuggets for my book. It's available on Kindle, on Amazon. It's at reduced pricing for Black Friday, for Cyber Monday. So be sure to get it. Be sure to grab your copy as we begin to close out 2022 and your relationships and who you are connected to, who you align your heart with, who you connect your soul, your spirit, your mind, your will, and your emotions to, who you allow to get in your heart of hearts. That's going to be really, really important as you ascend into purpose. And some of these things that we're in, we don't need to carry them with us into 2023. Let's dive in to chapter six of A Woman's Journey Home. And the title of this chapter <laughs> is Get Out of Dead End Relationships. And I open the chapter, and you need to get a hold of this. This relationship equation, I've taught on it before. Unhealthy me plus unhealthy he equals an unhealthy we. Let me say that relationship equation again. Unhealthy me plus unhealthy he equals unhealthy we. Come on. And I learned that from Christina Rilo. That is the relationship equation. You can't have a healthy relationship with a man if you have a toxic relationship with yourself. I didn't hear an amen. And I didn't introduce myself. My name is Tanika Maria, and I'm an author, speaker, coach, podcaster, and I'm all about helping women, high-achieving women of faith, get real be healed and move on in life's transitions, relationship transitions, life transitions, in wholeness, in peace, and in clarity, and with wisdom. That is my passion. And it all started right here in our relationships. You cannot have a healthy relationship with a man if you have a toxic relationship with yourself. And I love this relationship equation. An unhealthy me plus an unhealthy he is going to always and unequivocally equal an unhealthy we. I can't have a healthy we unless I deal with me. Because if I don't deal with me, I'm going to always attract an unhealthy he. The relationship equation always works. And the only thing you have control over in the relationship equation is yourself. The only thing I have control over in the relationship equation is me. And if I'm a healthy me, I will in turn attract a healthy he and we can have a healthy we. Or at least I will have the sense enough and I will know myself enough and I will be self-aware and discerning enough to choose a healthy he. Because even if I'm a healthy me, I'm going to attract all kinds. You know, like a moth, a, a, a light is going to attract moths, butterflies, buzzards, flies, whatever. It's your picker. If I'm a healthy me, my, I'm going to pick healthy, I'm going to pick a healthy he, and then we can have a healthy we. But I can't have the healthy we until I first deal with me, right? And see, we try to furiously and feverishly create a we, but we ne neglect to work on that me. I got to work on me. And let's read a little bit out of the book, and then we're going to dive into some signs that you need to cut off a situation. Because we can't sit here and talk about leveling up and going up to the next level in 2023 if we're still dragging around relationships that we know we have no business being involved in. I can't go into 2023 being an unhealthy me, having an unhealthy he, and I'm in a toxic we dynamic. Listen at this. When me is undeveloped, 
unhealed and out of alignment with purpose, it will inevitably, inevitably be unhealthy. And of course, in the effort to have a we, unhealthy me will attract an unhealthy he. And now we have created an unhealthy we. We're connecting with people. We're connecting in relationships before we've evolved. We're, we're connecting in relationships when we don't even know ourselves. We're connecting in relationships before we've even hit certain thresholds and deeper levels of healing, before we even know who we are. I'm not even equally yoked with myself. How can I be equally yoked with a man? Right? And when we allow ourselves to become energetically, spiritually, emotionally enmeshed and entangled with individuals that we know is not God's best for us, we create, we are unhealthy, first of all, and we have created a toxic soul tie. This not only includes romantic relationships, but all other kinds of relationships. This could even be family and friends. Come on. When it comes to matters of the heart, and especially romantic relationships, we got to be with people who are already open, prepared, fruitful and productive in their purpose, that know who they are, and that most importantly, they are emotionally safe for your heart. This, this is so important. So, so, so important. There's so much meat in this chapter. I'm trying to decide where to go because you got to get the book. You just got to get the book. But here are a few signs that you need to cut a relationship and come back home to yourself and God. Number one, and I could add so much more here, and there's more in this book. My book is so worn, you guys. Get your own copy because I'm talking about more here. But I want to just give this to you. Here are a few key signs that you need to cut a relationship and come back home to yourself and home to God. Number one, if you are forfeiting your own personal development and growth as an individual for the sake of being an individual, being in a relationship or to be married. If you're putting things to the side that you know God called you to do just so you can be in this relationship, or if you're letting certain things slide, you were on fire, you were on point, you were in it, you were doing the things, you were moving and grooving, and then you get caught up with him, and all of a sudden you're not doing the stuff you're supposed to be doing, you're forfeiting, you were growing and getting closer to Christ, um, you were just really in a certain zone of flow, of innovation, of creativity and productivity and the things in your purpose and the things in your heart. And then you get caught up with him and all of that stops. Mm -hmm. That's the sign. Number two, if you are losing who you are in the relationship just to have it, <clears throat> if you're really lo like losing yourself as a woman, like you're starting to not even know who you are. You don't even recognize yourself in the mirror, but, but you're still in this relationship. And you know that being in that relationship has contributed to you being in that place. You're losing yourself. You're like complete, everything is about him. You don't even know yourself anymore. That's the sign. If you are in a co, this is number three. If you are in a codependent relationship where you are the strong one and you feel obligated to stay because of history, because the other person can't make it without you or vice versa, or one is strong and the other one got resources and you don't, and you're just hanging in to hang in, and I'm not talking about marriage. I'm, I'm not even talking about that. That's a whole different video, right? But if you're not married, and I'm not talking about situation, situations with children right now, but you're just there and you, you know, you, you, you're not really tied to them, but you're in a situation, you're in an entanglement and you feel like they can't, you, you need to help them. They need you, but it's killing you. That's the sign. Number four, if you are compromising your sexual integrity outside of marriage, if you claim not everybody has a Christian faith, I, I do everything from a faith-based to Christian perspective. But if you're out here and you know that you, you live according to Christian beliefs and you believe that, but you got into this relationship and you've compromised yourself, and you feel that, and, and that's not what you believe, and you know in your heart, mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. that's a sign. If you are in constant anxiety and confusion, because God has already told you no, but you still stay in there. You already know in your spirit that you're supposed to break up. 
and now we're coming into the holidays and that feeling hasn't gone away, but you still keep, keep it on, keep it on for appearances. I'm not, my question to you is, do you want to be a cute couple or a call couple? Do you want to be a relationship of convenience or do you really want to have a true covenant? Are, are we in it for the likes on Instagram? Do we just want to be able to post on Facebook and look a certain way and get those likes and hearts and comments? But when we follow you home, that relationship is a hot mess. If you are in constant anxiety and confusion, because God has already told you, no, the sun is on the wall, the red flags are wagging in your face, you got that anxiety in the pit of your stomach. You got the feeling that you can't shake. You already know in your spirit that this stuff is not right. That's the sign. And lastly, and again, I'm only touching the surface of what's in my book, so I highly encourage you to get this one and also my other book, Get Out of That Dead End Relationship Now. This is a great, great resource to help you actually break up and end a situation that you know is not God's best. I actually should be going through this book, right? But this book, Get Out of That Dead End Relationship Now, you can get both of them just as a, a shameless plug since we're talking about relationships, right? The last one. If the relationship in any way, shape, form, or fashion dis diminishes you, distracts you, and derails you from God's purposes and creates destruction or is abusive in any way, shape, form, or fashion, this includes emotional abuse. This includes spiritual abuse. Of course, physical abuse, sexual abuse, any type of destruction, any type of um, distraction and derailment. And a lot of times we, we think of abuse just as physical, but emotional abuse, narcissistic abuse, somebody being super, super highly, highly critical and belittling, but belittling, belittling you, putting you down, uh, making you feel bad about yourself. Somebody that's very manipulative, someone that's coming in, love bombing you, putting you on a pedestal and then crashing you back down. All of that kind of stuff is abuse, right? If you're any real in a relationship like that, any relationship with this weird, toxic pull and push dynamic and all of this drama and, and stuff, that's not God's best for you. Right. Those are the signs that you need to cut it and get out. You must discern the difference and go ahead and have the courage to get out of that dead end relationship. And there's so much in this chapter that I could get into, but I highly, highly encourage you to get it. And I want you to, the question I want to ask yourself, if you are in a relationship now, take a moment to evaluate if this person is, is in alignment with your purpose. And I want you to, to ask yourself, what am I doing to cultivate a healthy me so that I can attract and pick a healthy he so that I can have a healthy we? And I want you to, to just sit on these questions and ponder them as we go through the rest of this year so that you can come into 2023 in a whole place. Coming into 2023 healing, letting go of the residue and preparing and positioning your heart for authentic, healthy, genuine connections that are great for you and your purpose. Know this, that God loves you, he sees you. He's aware of you. He knows exactly where you are. And he wants you to have life and have it more abundantly. Stay tuned. Stay connected. Be sure to grab your copy of A Woman's Journey Home. And specifically, if you are in a relationship situation that you know you need to end, you need to get, get out of that dead end relationship now. Click the link in my bio. Click the link in the show notes. Be sure to grab your copies and I'll be back out here again soon. Take care and talk to you later.